Hello everyone and welcome back to Deus Ex. This is episode 9. The last time we escaped the MJ-12 facility, saying our fond farewells to those at UNATCO, and we departed in Jock's stealth helicopter, but unfortunately the Hong Kong airbase still was able to detect us and drew us in. So we've got a free Jock, but we've also got to find and gain the trust of Tracer Tong eventually as well. So free Jock and then we get out of here. Um, there's a camera up there. We're under lockdown. Uh, let's have a look here. This looks to be the the rooms overlooking it. Oh, okay. But only that one. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. So we have control over this lift specifically, but not Jock's one. Okay. So we've got the flight control decks. It's a bit loud, so let's activate my tier 4 silent running. We're now completely silent when we're standing up, which is amazing. Uh, I guess flight control deck 2. We want flight control deck 1. Oh, of course. It is locked with an infinite strength. We're going to need to find a key to that one and unlock it. Okay. Munitions bay, weapons lock. All right. To all flight controllers, after the recent theft of the NSH-187, we are reevaluating our security procedures until further notice. Deck 1 flight control has been sealed and troops ordered to the barracks. If you need access to flight control, please see Tech Sergeant McKinney. I recognize that name. We've read that before. Okay, Tech Sergeant McKinney. He's going to have the access to the other room. Um, munitions bay. Oh, there you go. Okay. And weapons lock. Okay. I guess we'll take a look. Security computer terminal. Does our old uh, username and password work? It does not. We will hack in. Different location, different logins. If only Daedalus could hook us up with the goods here. Let's initialize the icebreaker. Okay, we got cameras. Cameras off, baby. Um, turret status. I can't change it, but they're set to attacking allies. So there's a camera on the roof. There's troops in the barracks, which are the MJ-12 looking ass guys. Cool. Good to know. And we have a vent. Okay. So before I do that... Oh, I realize I'm fucking wasting my battery this whole time as well. I need to see. <laughs> I need to remember to turn that off. Okay, so the barracks is downstairs, and all the troops are there. Um, right on. WP rockets. So these are the munitions. Ooh. Munitions bay door added to the keyring. Um, we had a recoil weapon mod. And... Maintenance note. Got a shipment of that experimental fuel, but this is scary st stuff. Toxic sick waste to Sunday, and while the emergency purge is designed to shunt it into the basement tanks in case of a problem, the fumes alone could creep back up the ventilation system and put most of the facility out of business. Definitely lowest bid contractor work. Until I can get a hold of someone to fix this mess, I've slapped a temporary lockout on the purge valve 99871. Give me a ring at 443-233-4238-123 if there's a problem. Interesting. So a temporary lockout on the purge valve. So we could do toxic fumes in the whole facility, it looks like. Okay, that's an option. Okay, infinite, uh, which is this key, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is this staircase right here. Okay, gotcha. Now let's see where this goes. Okay, 
Okay, so this is... I see. So this is also another way in you can take the vents. Careful down there. That fueling equipment was installed by the lowest bidder. One time I had to fly a couple of gas technicians to the emergency room. I see. Um... Alright, well, we'll be careful then. Ha! <laughs> Dangerous. Hazardous gas. Evacuate personnel before purging the system. So this would be the temporary lockout. So curious... Where would this... Where would this exactly go? Would it be a facility-wide purging? Even the people upstairs on the roof and in the barracks? Jock would be safe in the helicopter. I don't think I would be safe. I'm going to save my game. <laughs> um, and he said that the code was... 99817? Uh, 99871. You oh. just released poison gas into the lower levels. Find a hazmat suit or get out of there. Yep, I'm trying. Okay, into the lower levels. There you go. It's secure. Okay, so the lower levels would be the barracks, and the roof is still occupied. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So now if I want to go down into the lower levels... Oh, shit. Yep. Just gas them all. Ha! What? Huh. If it's really Denton, one of us is going to get a promotion. Bro didn't even realize that I've just gassed all of his friends. This is funny. Okay. Um. Just takes one lucky shot. Will I? Can I get them in the chair? I'll just go for the right prod. <laughs> oh, nice. One lucky shot it was. You were right, sir. <laughs> Icebreaker ready. Don't have enough room to pick up the sword off shotgun. It's okay. I've got my plasma rifle. The MJ MJ12 troops do not get my mercy. No email today. Rude. Okay. And the gas has dissipated. Lovely. All Hong Kong MJ12 personnel. Hong Kong is a unique environment for MJ-12 personnel and provides a number of challenges that all members should be aware of on a daily basis. Currently, only tenuous ties exist between MJ-12 and local authorities. Though MJ-12 is working to resolve that situation, and consequently police and security cannot be expected to understand the special nature of MJ-12's charter, agents, operatives, security, and other personnel should adhere closely to the confidentiality guidelines outlined in your handbook. One key factor in police response is the use of acoustic gunfire sensors scattered throughout much of Hong Kong. Cheap and effective, these sensors use DSP circuitry to alert authorities to non-suppressed, i.e. not silenced, gunfire. This enables police to quickly minimize threat situations in an efficient manner. While these sensors can be disabled, Central Operations does not recommend this course of action, but rather a considered evaluation of any tactical situation to avoid local intervention. Interesting. So we read about the acoustic sensors, and there's more of Project Dibuk. High efficiency ethanol fuel cells with a flight range over 9,000 miles, and it was there was uh, it was stolen. Because Jock's got it, I assume it's the Jock is the one that they're talking about. Is also a, it will often spend much of its operational lifetime with within hostile territory and therefore is also equipped with remote disabling and scrambling for its key flight systems if necessary the vehicle can also be scuttled remotely so that looks uh, to be uh, what we're dealing with at the moment okay we got some ammo we got some tranquilizer darts we got the pinball machine How did that dude not 
I'm really interested about how that dude just was like sat in his chair like nothing went wrong. But then he- Who the hell? Oh! That's him. Okay. <laughs> Who the hell? Alright, we didn't gas all the lower levels. Get down. <laughs> but it seems that they all go down with uh, a singular use of the of the riot prod. I love the subtle inconsistencies in a mirror reflection. Like it, the way that you hold your weapon is obviously different to how you look on a on a reflective surface. Newspaper, Yurako responds to a terrorist attack. A terrorist strike on Liberty Island was blunted this past week when Yurako forces move swiftly to neutralize the threat. The attack, the result of a poorly organized attempt to break security at Yurako headquarters by the National Secessionist Forces, was characterized by one identified source as a futile gesture. Walton Simons, director of FEMA, worked closely with Yunatco to coordinate both US and Yunatco forces in a joint operation to root out the remaining elements of the terrorist attack in New York. Terrorism is very much a snake that slithers out of the tall grass, said Simons. It is our responsibility to always remain alert to the danger it presents and to act decisively when it appears. Authorities are currently attempting to locate Mapocalypse, one of the terrorist leaders who escaped in the aftermath of the attack. Yes, it is me, the leader of the cell. Oh, okay. So that one's at uh, 50 uh, strength. Maybe I will blow it open with my lamb instead of wasting two lockpicks. That's the choice that I'm making. Hiya! Blow them all. No, that's not a good trade. Okay, because MJ-12... Aren't the MJ-12 troops able to resist uh, getting gassed? That's right, that's the risk that we take. <laughs> hey. Munitions bay can be done here, and uh, pepper gun, which I think we've... We still have our pepper gun, do we not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, oh man, the lamb would have been so good there because there's two of them. Oh man, oh, what a waste. Got a sniper rifle. Yeah, <coughs> that's a shame. That's a waste of my lamb. Um, oh, I could have used the, um, no I couldn't. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Uh, let's put the recoil on this once more. Um, that's a shame. I need some more lambs, damn it, to open those lockers. That's alright, we can't win them all. Uh, so the barracks have been cleared out. And then in regards to... It says that the note that we read was... Okay, so Tech Sergeant's probably... He's probably on the roof. It's not... So let's, let's do this. So lower levels have been dealt with. We can take this ladder up to the roof. And then maybe we can use the... Uh, no. I don't know about the helipad. Cameras off, but let's take a look. It would be nice if I didn't fall down the ladder just looking to my right. Yeah. Oh! oh my god, dude, the the ladders in this game. I swear to God, just let me let me out. Thank you. Um, definitely someone. Fuck's sake! Oh, I can break my legs again by making that noise. <laughs> I'll just spray and pay with this bad boy, or maybe we can use our uh, rifle instead. The plasma rifle. Let's activate regeneration. Let's regenerate my broken legs. 
in games like this, like Half-Life and Deus Ex, like ones that have this specific style of going onto a ladder, and it doesn't have a very good dismount of getting off the ladder, I, I struggle with that one. I think this dude's got a, the plasma rifle as well. Just takes one lucky shot. One lucky shot indeed, my friends. Oh no, he's got a gep gun. Sword! <laughs> I can actually go to town with a sword. Okay, sure. Uh, so there's only these two guys up here. And then, um... I shot at basketball. I'm going to just say that went in. Of course it did. Uh, we had another way up here. The Hong Kong sky, baby. I guess it's only the gep gun that we'd end up looting from that dude. Where's this, uh, where's this tech sergeant guy at then? There's a military robot in there. know where I'm going at the moment but this looks like it's potentially new oh oh I've just gone around to here okay and then we got a, what, a ladder that'll take us to the roof again and then okay so we can get in the vents I wonder because I've tried doing the I wonder if we can shoot the the Wait, why does that... Why does that work now? I've hit things before and it and it didn't go down. Hang on. Because this has to be activated. Oh! Because I went up to advanced weapons. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. So we've got like the full... So now that I've got advanced, I can actually do damage onto doors. Oh, and that's the flight control. We had another one of the locals attempt to hack security keypad on the elevator. Looks like a kid this time, but he did a pretty good job at staying out of the surveillance field. Anyways, Nicole managed an override before he got in. She reset the code to 989. Hopefully that'll keep them out until we can get more security on the entrance. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, um, forgot to take into account that upgrade, like training my melee weapons level to advanced actually increases my strength. Yeah, no more lambs, baby, no more lockpicks, it's all baton whacking from here. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we've actually got the flight control deck key. See, I was expecting that I would need to find it uh, on an imported person's. Um, turns out it's just in the locker. Alright, very good. Lovely. Okay. And then... Back in business. Come on down and stay clear of the blast doors to the south. I'm gonna launch a missile. <laughs> I'm gonna launch a missile. Okay. Uh, primary goal completed. Hell yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, I don't know if this terminal... This terminal will probably be the same as the one in the other room, I assume. Uh, yes. Except... This elevator... Um... Does that have... 
The code? I don't know where that is. Oh, hang on. What's this? Uh, yeah, whack it. Whack it. Whack it. Whack it. Whack it. Whack it. Nice. Bioelectric cells. Is there one in this room too? Aha! There is. Nice. Master key for barracks lockers. Oh, I was just hitting those. Uh, update MJ12 HK Hella Base Operations Manual. All authorized personnel with clearances of level three and above uh, should be made aware that the authorization for the Talon security network has been changed from Valkyrie to Sky Eye. The functionality of the Talon security network has not changed substantially and is still covered in section 3B of the operations manual. All further inquiries directed to your superior. So... Hey, nice. Okay. Um, where is this elevator? I wonder. I pan this bad boy around. Take a look. Oh, okay. Sure. Not accessible. Probably behind that lockdown door. Alright, let's get to Jock. I guess, is that what he's launching him? Oh, that's what he's launching a missile to? Oh yes, there you go. Fire in the hole. Oh, ah. What killed me? Oh, there's a military robot behind me, dude. Dude, no. I haven't saved since... Oh no. I wasn't expecting to die. Alright, this time I'm ready. <laughs> Uh, so I've saved beforehand. Uh, he's gonna launch a missile. I can hear the footsteps of the robot this time. Fire in the hole! Right, there it is. Um... I have to get clear. Head for the exit and I'll link up with you when I can. Okay, see you later. Oh god. Um, so... What I'm thinking... Is... Potentially... Being able to get to the roof, there was the GEP gun. Oh, actually, I have the... I, I, no better time, like the present, to use one of these bad boys. So I've got a scatter grenade. Is there two? There is two. There's two of them out here. Oh, that one's on the lift. Nice. I can send that up. No, you asshole! Oh my god, it's still... Nice. Okay. All right, I've removed one from the equation. It's now up there. Oh, it's just turning. Okay, this one I can scramble. Um. Or. Oh, my reserves. Where's the repair drone? Where's that repair bot? My reserves are depleted. Where's that drone? All right, make a run for it. Oh, you could... Oh, you could have gotten in behind them this way. Hang on, I think I saw the bot. Oh, why do you have to be all the way over there, dude? All right, we're gonna... I was gonna silent run out of here and then go through there, but I think we'll just... Right, I'm gonna scramble you. hi -ya! Stop shooting me so much. Right. Oh, they're, sh it's, they're shooting one another. Okay. Oh, nice. The one up, uh, the one up top one. <laughs> Good. Okay. That means I can just, I can just chill out here. Very good. I made them fight each other. Just, just stay here, we I'm healing. <laughs> I'll recharge my battery. <laughs> All right. That was a worthy use of the scatter grenade. That's one of those instances you want to use it. I'm like, okay, fine. All right, we're all charged up and ready to go. So it looks like I need to disable 
this. Three tools! Well, I guess it's a good thing that we've got 17 of them, and we have picked up many for this exact purpose. Let's bypass the thing. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. Lovely. Okay. Easy peasy. Um, door up, down. Give me the door. Nice. And uh, I guess we're up the top, so we'll be going down. One Chai Market. Okay, you need to find Tracer Tom. He used to drop Paul off at a small compound east of the market. You could start there. Don't lose any time. Your kill switch is 12 hours old. If you die, our plans will fail. Locate Tracer Tom. Ooh, Daedalus is listening. Okay, so it's it's been 12 hours now, so it gets a sense of the time it's taken to travel. Look for clues to finding Tracer Tong at the compound that Paul used to visit, to the east of the Wan Chai Market. This music, though, and this is something that's really exciting, is we get to see the, you know, the future dis cyberpunk dystopia of a different city, and Hong Kong especially. That's, uh, that's quite exciting. I'm expecting you got you got those Hong Kong mega buildings. So we know what the passcode is because uh, we've read that note. Oh, the police. Okay. Just for one tool. Hang on, is this? Uh, what was the? Because what was it? Nine eight nine. But that's just for the security keypad on the elevator okay let's let's take in the vibes oh damn they've got the they got the Chinese security bot version Chinese military police we got a dog and a cat in here feels very Blade Runner you get to have like a real animal God, uh, this is so interesting to take in. Okay. Hello, saleswoman. Hand penned China. Very authentic. Okay. So they speak English. I was wondering if there would be like, we have would have like augmentations that could translate if they were speaking, you know, a different language. I work for the butcher too. Everybody in Wan Chai Market. I have made other arrangements. I never fall asleep. I am one of the best watchmen. Let alone. I don't work with the boys. This is a bad market. Lots of bad people. Go. Go. Okay, we've got some very dated uh, voice acting. News of Trial Wars. Red Arrow versus Luminous Path. What do you think of the Luminous Path Triad? Coward, soon to be gone. They have to steal weapons because they have lost the traditional arts. What kind of weapons? They murdered the Red Arrow leader to get the sword he invented. How do you invent a sword? It uses modern technology. I pay the Red Arrow even though the Romanus Path compound is 50 meters away. Okay. So we've got some lore that we could probably get out of these uh, newspapers. Many publications. Watch your interest. What do you think of the Red Arrow Triad? They will control all of Wen Chai in a few weeks. You sound certain. The fighting is not going well for the Ruminous Path. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, but this is chapter 20. Samuel looked at him from across the table, but he might as well have been peering at Jacob from the Devil's Own Palace in the Deep Blue Sea. After a moment, Samuel rubbed his roomy eyes. You ever wonder about morals, he said. Jacob shook his head. I do, all the damn time. I wonder what it means to be good, if there's some tally that says, you only hurt ten people, so come on up. But eleven, 
and you're going straight to hell, then I think maybe it's a little voice that tells you way back in your head. And then I wonder what happens when that voice goes away. Jacob reached out under the table and put the little 22 pistol against one of Samuel's kneecaps. I don't think you're gonna like my answer to that. Where is she? The Canal Road tunnel collapse in the Hong Kong Standard. Explosions rocked the Wan Shai district two days ago as fighting between warring triads resulted in the cave-in and flooding of the Canal Road Tunnel, effectively halting almost all access to and from the Wan Shai area. While the fighting occurred in the early hours of the morning and traffic was light, a number of bystanders were trapped during the fighting and subsequently presumed dead. The names of the deceased have not been released at this time. Police have barricaded the area at the Wan Shai Terminal and forbidden any access until a thorough forensic analysis can be made and the bodies removed. In a statement released earlier today, the police declined to name any suspects, though Chief Joey Lung expressed that the rehens reprehensible nature of this crime will not go unanswered by the Hong Kong police. Okay. And the Grey Death case is misdiagnosed. Authorities confirmed today that a number of mysterious illnesses reported at area clinics were not cases of Grey Death as had been previously feared, but merely a seasonal outbreak of influenza, which we also learned was a constructed event too. Dr. Chang Lam of the People's Health Administration headed the inquiry. I can say with complete certainty that these cases exhibit absolutely none of the symptoms of the so-called Grey Death cases, which I might add have so far only been reported in the less well-managed cities of America and Europe. Those malcontents who have spread rumors to the contrary are merely feeding upon the unjustified fears of the hard-working men and women of Hong Kong. Dr. Lam went on to say that anyone observed such making such claims should be reported to local party leaders for counseling. Okay. Mass driver accident kills over 2,000 Ibadan, Nigeria. The historical first delivery of ore from the Zhao Enlai Lunar Mining Complex ended in tragedy today when a targeting error resulted in the payload slamming into the outskirts of the city of Ibadan in Nigeria. Thousands died in the initial blast that was compared to a small nuclear bomb as the payload impacted in a sparsely populated, populated suburb, while thousands were more were left disoriented, homeless, and without power or water in the wake of the explosion. Chinese officials have halted all other deliveries from the Zhao Enlai complex and are working with both United Nations and officials from McMoran Global Steel to determine the cause of the error. McMoran Global Steel was responsible for the construction of the mass driver, winning the contract from Page Industries in a heated bidding war, which we remember reading about. And obviously we took the utmost precautions in building the Zhao Enlai driver, said spokesperson Sean Murphy, but something has gone terribly wrong. Our only real response at this point is to offer our condolences and aid to the people of Ibadan and ensure that such a event never occurs again. What's the bet that Paige uh, influenced that malfunction? It was orchestrated. Welcome to Wan Chai. Please use the following map provided at no cost to enjoy and see our beautiful district. In Wan Chai Market is where you will take in tea, buy a bird, and shop for antiques and other wonderments. The old China Hand and Lucky Money Club have dancing and drinks for all. End your day with much ovation in a sampan ride through the historical canal, or observe ceremonies at the authentic temple in the main square. Enjoy! And there you go. So, this is expectedly probably going to be a... Uh, Hell's Kitchen type scenario of having a very open area to explore, which is fun. Um, drink more, think less. <laughs> what a good ad. I do not recognize you. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't. Um, it's good that I have a seemingly some decent free reign around here. You are worse than the stray dogs by the canal. Fine, I go somewhere else. Party girl. Watch where you're going. Okay. Many fine restaurants buy the meats from me. Have you visited the Lucky Money, for instance? It's below the market in mall. Let's check this map out too. Uh, Versa Life, the Underworld Nightclub, Queen Towers Luxury Street, Ton Tonochi Road is great for shopping. The canal system offers fast travel. Old. China Hand Bar has great happy hour specials. Visit the Joss Temple and National Treasure. Canal Road is your main access to the Wan Shai District and find some great deals at the downtown market. So, Versa Life here. 
The truck have stopped delivering to the other shops because of military blockades, but all of my meat is guaranteed fresh. Talk to Cassandra. Oh, okay, so you're Cassandra. Who are you looking at? You, apparently, you've been given a name. Two? Yes, a little something to brighten up the lab. <laughs> Versalife? How can you tell? Is my hair turning blue? Versalife has done much to revitalize the community. Well, they're always hiring. I guess that's something. I will wrap them up. No, no, I can manage. Very good. Thank you. The most. Please, look around. The, the most artificially constructed conversation ever. No, no, I will manage. Thank you. My name is Looking at Flowers. Such a quaint little market. Such a quaint little market. Perhaps a present for your girlfriend? Yes, of course. Only 20 credits for that one. You can just pick them up. I'll probably get in trouble with the police if I do that. There's a little bit of look at the Hong Kong skyline. You're next to the compound Paul used to visit, but I don't know who it belongs to. I think I'm clear now. Good thing the NSA invested in stealth technology. Okay, well if this is the way that we're supposed to be going for the um, compound, I will go elsewhere. our historical building, this canal road. Pigeons. She said no. Impossible. She said she has made other arrangements. Ah. The red auto? She was very rude. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Have we got child soldiers working for the... My brother's name is Paul Denton. I heard that he was a frequent visitor to this compound. Do you know him? The Rumonos path is close to Guaylo's. Paul is no friend of the West. My name is Gordon Quick. I know your brother, but you are not him. They say you are royal to Unatko. I was, before Paul showed up in New York. A day later, I was helping the NSF. You want me to take your word? You are in Hong Kong now, and we are businessmen. Paul earned our trust by working with us. I don't have time for games. No games. We would like another ally like Paul. The triads are at war, thanks to a woman named Maggie Chow. A sword was stolen from the Red Arrow Triad, and Miss Chow started the war by blaming us, the Romanus Path. Why is one sword so important? It is an extraordinary sword called the Dragon's Tooth. Nanotechnology developed by the Red Arrows for Morida before he was murdered. We know that Chao is a liar, but we have no proof. I'll go speak to her, but first I need to find a man called Tracer Tong. I need his help. Mr. Tong deals with businessmen, not beggars or strangers who might be spies. Chao lives at 1313 Tonochi Road. Be observant. Find and examine that sword. It is the evidence we need. I'll help you against Miss Chow, but then I'll need to see Tong, or I won't be your ally for more than about 12 hours. I was meant to go and follow the kid. I didn't realize that was going to be such a long conversation, so I have a f uh... Back. Hey. Go away! Oh, okay, stealing something. I thought he was going to go and kill her. Maggie Chow, exclusive interview in the Oriental Dairy News. Have you heard of Maggie Chow? A former actress. Very respected. She gives a lot of money to fight drug trafficking and illegal trade. It's very unfortunate that there's such a discrepancy in when they decide to use R's instead of L's and when they still use L's. <laughs> they kind of, it, it drops in and out. I can tell them you're a spy and they will kill you. Jesus Christ, Lewis. The former Red Arrow Reader stole nanotech components from Versalife. I believe it was the corporation that had him murdered. 
Okay, Gordon, quick, let's find out what's happening here. Kid went to go do some dirty work. I did it. I did it. Did anybody see? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't matter. We got her payment, plus interest. Get back and see if she earns something. Okay. Damn, we're really following this back and forth, huh? The dragon's tooth is the most perfect blade possible in a non eutactic solid. It would have given the red arrow an enormous advantage. So this is this is the compound that we were, we were approaching. Oh, I see, because we got the... <laughs> I went all the way around. We got the transmission here, right next to the compound. Hilarious. Okay. Um, and we will earn the trust. We're following this story at the moment. Just a nice example of us being in a living, breathing world here is following this small child back and forth between his gang leader and a newsstand attendant. I told you, bad people around here. Get out of here. Go. I am your new watchman. You fought a hundred credits from me. The dragon head said I am your watchman 50 credits every day. That's better than a hundred. I can make a profit out of this. I will do a good job. I will do a good job. I know the dragon head. <laughs> Please put a newspaper back when you are done browsing. Okay, and now we will... F oh, he the child, he disappeared. He quite literally vanished. The hell? Oh no, there he is. I'm like, what the hell? Where'd this boy go? Oh. Alright, come on, mate. Go report back to your leader. I oh, know he's just gonna walk around now. I can tell them you're a spy. Stop and they that. Will kill you. Okay. Oh, let me in that. Let me get that data pad, man. Let me get that data pad, man. Okay. I can bypass the tool, but that will get me in trouble with the uh, police. Old China hand. Hey, nice. There you go. Gogamu Hai Gong Chan Dao. We do not have translation augmentations. Nay Sing Mse Gong Gong Dong Wa. Gogamu Hai Gong Chan Dao. Is this real? Gogamu Hai Gong Chan Dao. I wanna, I wanna tr see if I can type this into to Google. Get a get a translation of what's being said to me right now. Okay, I can't get. Google Translate to give me any answers picking auto detect in multiple languages that it could be. Uh, so I don't know if it's just. I don't know if it's just translated wrong or if like it's just not correct. But unfortunately, it doesn't come up with anything when I when I search. So there you go. We're not finding out what's being said to me today. So we can go through to Canal Road, we can go through to the other street down the way, and another facility down this way as well. Let's have a look in here. Oh, nice. He grumbling. Yao Hak. Okay. Many other Buddhas in Hong Kong. Hey, nice. Got that. Wondering if we should make an attempt for uh, getting this data pad. Could be crucial information, but it would be impossible to get this dude's attention. I would have to like, I feel like I would have to tranquil tranquilize a dart him, but I don't think that's a good idea at all. We got an ATM. Shopkeepers are honest. You will find a good bargain here. My daily hacking into an ATM. One hundred credits. It is got three thousand. Right, let's go have a look in Lucky Money.
Versalife. Ooh. We got a Versalife keypad. Um, oh, it's five digits. Hmm. Okay. We'll have, to, we'll have to look around for that. Could be the one in the police office. The Underground Mall, home of the Lucky Money Club. The Hong Kong music is so cool. Can I break the glass to get in here? Oh no, hang on. Never mind. The mall area is perfectly safe. Because it's only got police in it. If you want a good time, I recommend the Lucky Money. We patrol this area 24 hours. The mall area is perfectly safe. That's what they say. That's because it's bloody closed. Okay, so we got a terminal in there and a camera. Shall we do some? Uh, shall we do some break-ins? Two cameras. And there's another ATM in there, but I take it that you only get one ATM thing anyway. Hmm. Hmm. I'm meeting someone. Hey man, where are you from? The States. We're from Australia. <laughs> mm. <On> vacation? <laughs> Let's just wait for Russ. He's kind of cute. What's your name? JC. Is this a good club? Oh, totally. And it's a red arrow place. They get everything real cheap. Look, can we ask a big, big favor? Sure. My sure. And I, it's so silly. We left our credit cards at the hotel. I think you could get us in. How much do you need? Only 20 each. We get in for 20. 20 credits is nothing. I'll do that even if they are swindling me. They are not Australian. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. We're from Australia, mate. We're from Australia. Yep, I promise you, that's what we all sound like. Sure. Sure. Well, you like to dance then? Let's go. You're so bad. Like that's from that's Australia, huh? You so bad. That's what we sound like. Thanks for getting me in. Thanks, mate, for getting me in. Let's go. You see, Mercedes and Tessa. Well, they got in. Hmm, leather boots for you. Twenty-five credits admission wrong for my with my boots here you go perfect i order you to stand in the spotlight and growl at the women like a dog who needs a master hello okay jesus all right um <clears throat> thanks for getting me in <laughs> hello i'm a dog <laughs> Hey, it's the party girl. No, it's not. It's a different one. Young escort. I like to dance. Hello. Thanks for getting me in. Thanks for getting me in. A dance partner for you? 100 credits. Mama-san, why can't I talk to the other ones but only you? No, thanks. I'll be waiting. Come back when you change your mind. The way that he says, thanks sure, please stop. I have oh. a baton. I like to dance. May May. I'm not your type. I just want to ask a few questions. Look, I was here first. Chen told me himself. If there's a job, I get it. What kind of job? Just back off. I got fired at the quick stop next door without even the warning. And I need a cash. Tough luck. Yeah, well, I'm going to get him back. And unlock into their computer. It's management. Password. Code 324. One of Lake's nights. I gonna stick it there and trash all their records. What's a quick stop cashier doing working for the Red Arrow? And working yet. Okay. Ain't working yet. Um my uh the dialogue was changing font, it was like glitching. Alright, we can log into their computer. Hey man, you blocked the view. <laughs> oh my god. I feel silly. You look good. Move your hips a little more. There Wait. you go. Like this? That's better. How are you the seductive one, but you're the nervous one? I want to dance with my friend. Please. <laughs> Good evening. 
Hello there. Good evening. Great place here. Isn't it? People have the wrong idea about the triad, you know. In what way? They run the economy. The black market prices in clubs like this let people have a good time. Want to get Dude, something to eat? I, I cut the, the voice acting in this. I just can't. It's so awful. <laughs> Ooh, people give this place a hard time, you know? <laughs> That's the most emotion JC's ever conveyed in his life, by the way. Great place here. Don't you agree? This club is the best of everything. That's why I had to have him choose that option. Have any more questions? Hi. Don't you like to dance? Get in the middle. Come on. You would look good with bangs. All right, girls. I'm in the middle. Let's dance. probably looks really good in third person I'm get oh hang on you guys like to twirl don't you I see that in your animation oh hang on I can see myself Jesus there is a mirror here what the fuck yeah that's <laughs> these are the moves these are the moves <laughs> all right see you later babes <laughs> Jesus Christ I like your tattoo I really? thought that was more of the, the club I didn't realize that that was a breast I just thought it would be sexy. <laughs> um, I thought this was more club. It turns out it's a mirror. Okay, anyway, up the stairs. Uh, there's more club here. What a vibe. I've never seen so many troopers. They must be close to a breakthrough. But which division? Maybe all of them. Something fundamental. I saw guards in biotech, too. I think it's just the UC. They've had that for weeks. But word has gotten out. Every engineer on the planet. VersaLife already has the best security in the industry. Even my game programmer friend in Texas offered me a million credits for one hour on the UC. Wanted to make the game of life with buckyballs. Joking, of course. We do not wish to be disturbed. We do not wish like to be disturbed. Dark. What do you mean? Everything's so compartmentalized. A pain, I know. But all it takes is one leap to the net, and there goes our work into the public domain. It's more like the way you'd organize a prison camp than a laboratory. Let's not get melodramatic. I've spent months making this rotor for sorting <sighs> calcium ions, and I don't even know what it's for. Kaczynski was right about the division of labor. I'll give him that much. Want another drink? Who puts the pieces together? Someone who makes a lot more money than we do. I'm just blending in here. I'm, I'm obviously a patron, as you can see. The... I think management is involved in something criminal. I don't know if you should be saying that. Really? Why the codes? All the procedures? Why the data entry people disappear today? What did the company have them doing? That's outside your department. I want to know. What do they do all day and all night down on level two? I don't think I can take part in this conversation. Don't ask questions that'll get you in trouble. We do not wish to be disturbed. Mind if I ask what you were talking about? You with the company? It just sounded interesting. Troops. At a corporation? Not your affair. Please do not intrude. Hmm. First life employee getting in the way. If he maybe he when he goes up and gets another drink? If he does get her another drink? We're having a private discussion. Hmm. Stay in the dance area. Okay. Oh, sure. I know my needles. <laughs> okay. Toom shmooma. Toom shmooma. Experiment. <laughs> I like experiments. Okay, Vince. Beer is 15. Wine is 120. No way. They did not give the bartender one of the bad, terrible Australian accents. What's going on in this game? We're in Hong Kong, and <laughs> the only people that have spoken their own language has been the monks. Everyone else is speaking broken English, and then we have Australians. For some reason, also Australians, and some, some sort of British, like... <laughs> Hong Kong, everybody's on just being tourists here. 
Can I ask you something? What do you want to know? Despite all I've read about the triads, I wasn't prepared to see them operating in the open, on the streets, and wearing uniforms. Doesn't the Chinese government care? The Chinese leave Hong Kong alone. They barricade the roads to control trade to the mainland, but they now have businesses then. I would think the secret smuggling operations of the triads would disturb the Chinese government. Maybe the luminous path, but China knows that the red arrow of business owners, entrepreneurs, community leaders, and that they protect the city from outside influences. I'm trying to listen to the dialogue, but it's it's excruciating. G'day, mate. I'm an Australian bartender here in Hong Kong. You said outside influences. What does China fear? China is the last sovereign country in the world. Authoritarian, but willing, unlike the UN-governed countries, to give its people the freedom to do what they want. As long as they don't break the law. Listen to me. This is real freedom. Freedom to own property, make a profit, make your life. The West, so afraid of strong government, now has no government, only financial power. Our governments have limited power by design. Rhetoric? You believe it? Don't you know where these slogans come from? I give up. Well-paid researchers. How do you say it? Think tanks? Funded by big businesses. What is there? A think tank? Hardly as sinister as a dictator, like China's premier. With privately funded propaganda. The Trilateral Commission in the United States, for instance. YouTube, if you're listening, this is a fictional game. Don't take any of this speech and flag my video. It's all just a game. The separation of powers acknowledges the petty ambitions of individuals. That's its strength. A system organized around the weakest qualities of individuals will produce the same qualities in its leaders. Perhaps certain qualities are an inseparable part of human nature. The mark of the educated man is the suppression of these qualities in favor of better ones. The same is true of civilization. I'll take a drink. Forget it. Forget it. Limited options. Have another drink? Don't mind if I do. Barfly yeah, and saying. loser. Well, women back home, they aren't like your daughter. I do very much wish to meet her. You are very handsome. You must have many girlfriends in your country. Oh, come on. Nah. This literally titled Loser. Loser Lawrence. You see, my class, where in the US, either you have nothing or you have everything. And the women of my class, well, they're spoiled. Mmm. Whereas your daughter, See, she's the perfect example. Born not with a silver spoon in her mouth, but... Wooden chopsticks. Yes, good, that's very good. Exactly. And that's why she understands the important things. Food, shelter, a good life. That's a very nice watch. Thank you. So kind of you. A gift from my mother, actually. Just waiting for them to continue talking, maybe. 14 karat gold, actually. Not my style at all. Fine things suit you. You think so? You have thin aristocratic wrist. Oh, stop it. Did you go to my head? Hi, ho, sir. My friend and I were about to leave. Okay. And. Barfly does not get a name, just Barfly. Not a bad company if I do say so. I like your jacket. <laughs> God. I'm sure I'm probably not allowed out the back. I could sneak through. We can go up again. Oh, this camera's up here though. Okay. What's going on over here? Oh, we got a bunch of suits. Okay, this seems like it might be a private function as the girl dances. Shake it! Russian sailors. So we've got Russians too, and they're sailors. Dimitri. Move it. I spill my drink. Oh, dude. Hey, Yevgeny. Yevgeny, where is Yevgeny? That's what I've been hearing every time I go into my settings and go sound. I spill my drink. That's what I've been hearing this whole time. 
Oh my god. Let's party! Out of my face. Ivan. Forrest. Downstairs. The upstairs is for us. And... More! More! Vladimir. Who wants to dance with me? Tell the mama son. Three more dancing girls. We will pay. Woo! Again! Do it again! Shit. Enough! Go! Tell the mama son. Three more dancing girls. We will pay. Downstairs. Okay. The upstairs is for us. God damn, dude. I will never get one of those balls in. Take him to the mama son. I expect they'll get pissed off with me. Great little layout of the club. We're having a private discussion. Right. Uh, we could try and see if we can sneak in the back when the bartender's not looking. Okay, he's looking. He doesn't care. I'm going in the back. I'm in the storeroom now. There's a camera though. The camera also doesn't seem to care. Okay. <clears throat> I was wondering if we'd be allowed down here or whether it would be like Ooh, oh, yo, holy shit, they're one-way mirrors, wow, I wish I had an augmentation that was like full stealth, you know, just turn me invisible, which I think there probably is one, um, could be a, one of the torso ones, because um, Anna was able to go invisible, so... I mean, she might have also had, like, the equipment for it. I feel like I won't be allowed in this room, but it is green. Oh, shit. Okay, so you can also lockpick this. Okay, get into the storeroom. I wonder if we can open this a different way. I wonder the purpose of the crowbar. Alright, shall we see if we can enter in here? This is so strange. Hey guys, what's what's going on? Can I sit here? You, this is what taken? Excuse me, sir. This room is off limits to club patrons. I suggest you leave. Guess I stumbled into the main office. One of you guys run the place? Max Chen is in the other room. Do not bother him unless he is expecting you. Ah, okay. So Red Arrow is here. Currently, we have no work for American-style gangsters. Isaac is letting anybody back here these days. Okay, so they just think we've been let back here? Remain in here only as long as your business requires. This, look, this is, uh, this is cool. Thai merchants are being stubborn. Dogs. We are having a meeting. I want nothing to do with Guilos. Please, our patience is limited. Then I gave him the old rat treatment. Never fails. Hey guys, you mind if I use this? You mind if I just uh, poke around and have a look at your thing in front of you? I'm just gonna, just gonna get in here real quick. I can open that storage thing maybe? Oh, that's that one. All right, let's open that. Camera off, camera off. Camera off. Uh, so we can open the door to Mama San. We can't open. Now road is too dangerous now. I can't open the um, storage container. Why would we want to be in here? I'm wondering if I might get a potential quest or something working with you know uh, the the other group <clears throat> to earn trust, and I might have to come here normally. So I'm like, I'm a little bit scared to like potentially. The police are holding out this time. I'm a little bit scared to potentially sequence break something if I do it a different way. I'm sad that I couldn't open this on the security thing. Um, so I might have to actually use four lock picks, but I only have four. So I'm gonna leave that be for now. We might be back in here later. 
and we'll we'll give it a give it a look see after that. So we'll we'll put a pin in it for now, knowing that that's got a. Uh, um, Thanks for getting me in. Stop. One hundred credits. A pleasing companion. I don't know how this is, Mama San. Um, I knew I'd read that name before. This is the person that they asked about upstairs. Where can I find Max Chen? Check at the bar, kid. Check at the bar, Thanks kid. I was wondering if we could talk to her and get the girls to go upstairs. Do you like to dance? Hello. Hello. So I unlocked the door behind this dude. I'm just gonna go. <sighs> okay, he just sighs as I go past him. Okay, I can get in here. Okay. <sighs> Um, I don't think they'd like me being in here, but there's, uh, that's the, that's what we opened. Only a hundred? Oh. I see you in a corner, smoldering, hostile. Everyone will wonder who you are. What is this? Why is this door girl like this? Go call a Russian sailor a nasty name. I want to see you fight. <laughs> I like a man with a lot of zippers. I've got zippers. I like a man with a lot of zippers. I do not like the way you look. Damn. I see you in a corner, smoldering, <laughs> hostile. So wild. All right, anyway. Hello. We'll be back to go into uh, the back room. Now, this place also needs two lockpicks. I'm a little bit annoyed now that I wasted lockpicks opening things that we found the keys for after. I mean, I could always break the glass too, but then we're just we're just begging to get in trouble with the with the police. I need to find more lockpicks. Or just get a master key to the whole place. Oh, look at this. Oh, we might be able to get to the back of the store. This way. Let me through. Okay. Let me out of here. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I think it's... Uh, uh, it won't let me through. I'm too big for this ride. Okay. We're going to have to find another way into the canal. And another way into that VersaLife facility. We can probably security tool our way in, can't we? How much is it? It's only... Oh, no, we can't. Do not risk entering the VersaLife Corporation until Tracer Tong has deactivated your kill switch. I will give you your instructions at the appropriate time. Okay, Daedalus, no worries. So, we can go through the Tonochi Road this way. Oh, damn, this is... This is going to be so huge. I, get the f I love getting the feeling of being overwhelmed, but at the same time, I'm like, ah! So that's where we're going to go to help out these guys, so we can go to Canal Road. So looking at the, the map, old China hand bar. We'll check out China hand bar as well. Where does Canal Road go? Canal Road tunnel on the one side terminal. Um, what the fuck? Oh my god, a gang war. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, yep. Oh, oh shit. Oh, who's gonna win? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's a 1v1. Could be anyone's victory. Oh, the, the men in white won. I don't need a sword, thank you very much. Okay. Damn, look at him go. This dude's mowing him down. He's the winner. He's mowing him down. So, red arrow. Luminous ah, path. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Luminous path. Mowing him down, dude. Okay. They've all got swords. And then the military. We are now one, spectators. Well, it was a good show. You can do nothing. Go. Oh, shit. And there's luminous path members here, too. Nothing to see here. But if they're in... Okay. Move along. The road's blocked. You have to go through the market. The road's blocked. 
You have to go through the market. Uh, but I see, I see a door over there. You guys gonna shoot me if I go through here? Probably. You know what? I suppose it's worth a try anyway. If I get gunned down, uh, I can reload. Come on, fellas! Come on! Come on! Come on, fellas! Let me, let me through here. Come on. There we go. I can. Oh, okay, he definitely saw me. I think I'm fine. <gasps> Dude, nice. I got luck, but. Hazmat and gas grenades. Nothing to see here. Yep, nothing to see here. Move along. Oh, nice. I got actual exploration bonus too. Black vans. Cool. There's definitely. Okay, so there's a maintenance thing there. I think we'll have to. Hmm. Alright. Maybe I'll be here later. Come back. Maybe when it's cleared out and I can access the maintenance tunnel. I got a lockpick though. That's good exploration. <laughs> oh, dude. They're giving them to me now. I need to. I need to keep looking. Um, I don't think I'll get any more. I got 50. I'll take 50. Okay, so Canal Road is a no-go for now. Oh, you know what? I just had a I just had a realization. We could cause a diversion or a distraction. We could touch an alarm sounder, and that could bring out the police from his room and open up the open it up and then I could get in there I wonder if that would work instead of um, trying to break in there and getting caught oh I can't you gotta you have to okay this is it's secure and I guess bypassing it wouldn't set it off right it would just disable it from being able to be pressed like when you can bypass a camera Damn, you can't activate the alarms yourself. It'd be a great way to get a guard's attention. Oh, okay, so this is how we get out here. I see. I was walking here. <laughs> I'm walking here. Okay. Okay, we can get down onto the canal here. There you go. So I think we can get into the store that way. Okay, so this is Tonachi Road. We'll come to Tonachi Road this area after. Because that's where we're supposed to go. where my my swimming skill needs to be fixed up so we've got 1915 I could train myself so my swimming speed increases so I can swim a little faster but I just feel like it's a waste of points you know I've got to dedicate dedicate my points to something else oh I can swim under there Oh, there's boats that are actually moving. There's no people on them. They're just on an automated path. Look at that. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. This is a... There's a little bit of solid ground there. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, what is what is going on here? Oh, it's glitched. Yeah, look at that. What the fuck? I can see through. I can see onto the road. What the hell? They've got the MJ-12 dinosaurs down there. All right, I shouldn't be looking at that because that's clearly the map glitching out. Like, look at that. That's weird. It's 
strange. There's just some texture of the of the map missing. Now I'm trying to get to not here. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's stronger. Hang on. Damn it. So, why is it that the lockers I could hit, but these I can't, you know? Oh, shit. Activated my spy drone. Whoa. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, my God. Oh. If I control this thing properly, I'll tilt it upwards. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Let me put my spy drone away. Okay. Whoa. That's so cool. I can just activate multiple? That's huge. Reconstruction will be complete in 20 seconds. Whoa, that's so cool. Okay. I, I was waiting to use it at a more perfect time, but I guess we can see what it looks like there. Looks cool. Where am I? Not much activity down here. Activity? What kind of activity? Anything. The canal's dead. They've added a distraction for night time. Nevertheless, there's traffic, even when you don't see it. You mean heroin? Illegal products, of course. But you find everything in the canal. Things that have been lost. Things people want to forget. Last month, he was the leader of the Red Arrow. He was floating near my house. You saw the body? My name is in the paper. I saw the cut across his neck. They are right. It was colorized. It was what? Colorized. The scientific terminology. Someone cut him, but it was a weapon that cannot be explained with the current technology. Thank you, boat person. <clears throat> what else do you find? Do you sell it? Are you? Are you a tourist? Just curious. I hear the triads control all the smuggling in Hong Kong. Yes, the triads do it. I am the simple merchant. I receive only fruits and the vegetables. My sampan? But you said... Yes, fresh, for my grocery store in the market. Right. I will have to stop by and take a look sometime. Yeah. My store is now open in the evening. Very steamy around these parts. Where am I? <laughs> I'm like, where am I? I see. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue on my way. Um, oh, man. I'm at the point where it makes you want to save scum lockpicks, and I don't want to do that, you know? Can we...? Oh, Jesus! There's a rat! <laughs> okay. I'm like, am I going to find anything useful in trash bags? No, I'm going to find rats. Anyway, I want to get into the store. There are cameras, though, so I might have to be careful. It'll take me some multi-tools to bypass them, because I don't think there's a security panel, but we'll take a look. Okay. Is this the store? Oh, wait. Wait, where am I? Oh, I was hoping this would be a back entrance to the, to the general store. Damn it. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. A flamethrower? Oh, this is busted. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, I just realized that, like, the boat that's going through... No, what? I just went right through the boat. I thought that that was supposed to happen. Oh, I thought that was... I thought that was how we were supposed to do it. You'd like drop down on the boat and then you'd ride it to its destination and then, okay, damn it. 
thought it was being clever. Also, this not being a back entrance to the store is lame. It looks like it might be. Okay, the old China hand we can get in down the bottom here. Get in through the back. Hello? I made it. Oh god, I'm being, I'm being approached. Paul Denton, I have the blueprints. I must warn you, I... Oh. Warn me about what? I have made a mistake. Paul's my brother. What's the problem? No, I have made a mistake. The blueprints. No, I am sorry. Brother, you've gone too far now. I must say nothing. They would kill me. But, but I'm Paul. Maybe if they trusted me? I take care of you. Spatial price. Maybe we'll talk to this guy again once we get, like, the trust of the group. You can trust me. I really am Paul's brother. You said something about blueprints. No, I do not know you. Maybe you work for VersaLife. VersaLife. Good. We're getting closer. You might as well tell me the rest. If I'm gonna kill you, you are already dead. You paid me, okay? I only did it for the money. I have the blueprints of the VersaLife building, 2,000 credits. And I have the other things he wanted. The scrambler grenade for 1250 and the thermoptic camo for 4,000. What did Paul want with VersaLife? All he said was not to get caught and to tell nobody what I did. I'm definitely not spending 4,000 for, like, some camo that's going to last me two seconds. Uh, I also don't know if we can potentially end up getting this for cheaper. Maybe? Like, if... I don't know. It looks like Paul had a separate contact. But I'm going to put a pin in this for now. We'll remember that this guy's here. I will check back in. Because it's still expensive, but remember that we have done side quests in the past that have knocked the price off things, so I'll think about it. I'll check back with you. What? I'm looking for someone called Tracer Tong. Heard the name? I know you. I know who you are. Yeah? You work for the Luminous Path. You should be dead now. Mm, but you left Hong Kong just in time. You have me confused with someone else. No, it was you. Miss Chow told us. You are the American who helped them steal the soul. Really, I... You cannot stop the Red Arrow. They will control China as they control Hong Kong. Very soon. Damn, okay... You will not leave Hong Kong alive. So, we're supposed to be finding and examining the dragon's tooth sword as proof regarding whether Maggie Chow is telling the truth. Apparently, Paul helped them. Many barkers had an old China hand. Everything eight credits. You know of a Maggie Chow? Maggie Chow, a bad character. Before she was an actress. Now she's everywhere in Hong Kong politics. They say that she's a spy. Who does she spy for? No one knows. Somebody paid her a lot of money once, and one of the rare heirs ended up floating in a canal. Dangerous to talk about. You buy in Wang Chai, you pay 12. Here, 8. Heard the name Tracer Tong? Tong, yes. Friend of a luminous path triad. And by extension, enemy of the rare heir. What's his reputation uh, among the locals? Sure, by fear. Very well connected. You want to buy? Biomechanical augmentation? Just curious. Is there a lot of crime in Hong Kong? Much more than before, yes. Now it's very easy for the smugglers. What kind of smugglers? Slaves, heroin, biotech. Is there really a slave trade? Oh, sure. This lucky money underneath Wen Chai, the Red Air headquarters. Of their girls, they are kidnapped in Thailand or the Philippines. Not a pretty business. Damn. What sort of biotech smuggling goes on? Mostly versus life, the golden triangle of a biotech. Why would a multinational corporation smuggle their products on sampans? Import restrictions in many places. The United States, European countries. On what? Certain genetic advances, laboratory organisms, also tiny computers in your tissue. What's VersaLife trying to develop? Everything. The second man. Hmm. The second men? English author. Olaf Stepton? You have not read? Afraid not. 
Last and First Man, History of 19 Species of Human Beings. I can't believe you do not know this book. I'm not big into books. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not big into books. <clears throat> That's pretty funny. Okay, so that's the entrance into the hand. Okay, so this is how we get down here from there. Alright, we're going to make an effort on this. We're going to read this data pad. Okay, the only problem is... open that as well. Oh, I've shut this door on myself. Okay. Um, this dude's not going to be happy that I'm in here, right? He's going to be like, why the hell are you in here? Hey! Hey! Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Go to sleep. Nobody has to know about this. Nobody has to know about this. Oh no. People are no people are knowing about it. People are knowing about it. Nobody has to know about this. Relax. Relax everyone, I'm reading. No no. Close that. No no no. I'm reading, okay? Uh, Officer Tam, your recent reports of conflict between the Red Arrow and Luminous Path most troubling. We will counsel their respective dragon heads at the first available opportunity. But if the further incidents occur, you are sanctioned to open up the Ordnance Vault and apply force to the participants as necessary. This wasn't even a... This wasn't even a fucking... Oh, where am I? Ooh. Let me up. Oh, shit. Uh, this wasn't even a code, sadly. I'm definitely not allowed up here. Alarm sounder panel. Okay, there's another one up here. What's going on up here? How do I get up there? Oh, he's fine if I'm up here. <laughs> yeah, if I'm up here, he's fine. But I'm not allowed to be uh, in that other spot. Who's that? Who's this? Tea house waiter. Welcome to the Wan Chai Tea House. Anything you like? Twelve credits. What do you think of the triads? Don't talk to me about the triads. They give you a lot of trouble. They are punks. Talking all the time about community and traditions, then they fight over technology from a multinational corporation like VersaLife. How do you know that the sword came from VersaLife? It has nanotech components. It is self-sharpening or something. I wish they would use it to chop off each other's heads. <laughs> Jesus. Please, look around. Okay. Can I help you? What do you know about Maggie Chow? A famous woman. Used to act in kung fu movies. What about now? She has other ambitions. They say she has connections in government, and I have seen her myself in this shop. Have tea with big executives from Versa Life. She probably has a lot of money to invest. They were not talking about investments. I overheard. It was biotechnology. She's doing scientific research. I think she has her own office at Versa Life. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a present for okay. your girlfriend? Yes, sir. Getting good information here. Never mind. Why is this dude here, though? <laughs> okay. Uh, we successfully infiltrated the police office. Uh, however, it was uh, not a code at all, unfortunately. Okay, so we want to go to Chonachi Road now. Uh, I've fallen. Um, <laughs> I have fallen. Um, I will now be proceeding to climb back up again.
I was walking here. Not advisable for tourists to visit. Okay, so now we're exploring Tonachi Road. Oh, I'm being approached. Yep. You are an unfamiliar face on Tonochi Road. I'm here on business from Gordon Quick. You are here to speak to Miss Chow, perhaps. Half a block down on the left. Thank you. The woman is a snake. Believe nothing she says. Okay. I myself have been watching Miss Chow. She just met with Max Chen, leader of the Red Arrow. And that's where I was holding off of checking out, actually. I bet you come from the market. That's where I want to go. Okay. Queen's Tower Luxury Suites. Got a service elevator. Before we check out any interior. Oh! Before we check out any interiors, we won't go face to face with a uh, goddamn mech. Maggie Chow wants to see me. I assume that's her hotel across the street? That is correct. How do I get up to see her? The main elevator. Maggie Chow would be angry if you arrived any other way. Okay, main elevator. Ads. So any other way would mean, like, here for example? You missed them. They left over an hour ago. I'm looking for a way into this building. Use front of building. Only try out use sidewall living back. Good advice. Okay. So only the triads use that lift. My mother said there's too much fighting. I have Where does this go? Oh, this is this area because we saw this girl, didn't we? Yeah. I know where that is. Okay, let's go in. Hello there. Welcome to Queen's Tower. Party leader Zan, I was much inspired by your speech for our local community resource center and wish to do my part in helping to maintain a you free China. As you have said, there are many threats that, to that freedom both from within and without. It is with glad heart then that I am able to inform you of suspicious activities on the part of Dr. Tracy Fang. Dr. Fang has declared on a number of occasions that he believes the cases of grave death are going untreated, ventilators. a situation I cannot believe the party would permit and has often been observed leaving at odd hours on what he declares to be family emergencies. I believe that Dr. Fang is a good individual with the best hopes All for Hong Kong and China at heart and could thus benefit from counseling. Miss Chow was kind enough to bring this to my attention and should be saluted for the many hours of entertainment and happiness she has brought to the Chinese people. Again, I apologize for not providing additional assistance. The seventh floor is closed for renovations. This is going to be what we want to use straight away. Hacking into this one. Okay. Cameras off, elevator lobby, and then the side area. So you can actually open that. Okay. We'll open that and explore it later. Okay. Public access terminal. Oh god, we got a few things here. Okay. The Queen's Tower has provided discreet, luxurious accommodations for over 200 years. Our clientele are treated to not only the most elegant amenities in all of Hong Kong, including indoor spa, pool, spa, gymnasium, and clinic, but also protected 24 hours a day by automated security and around-the-clock surveillance. Regretfully, the recreation floor is reserved for residents. Kit Lam Wei, uh, residence code has been made unavailable. Unavailable. Tracy Fang unavailable. Bobby Ryan unavailable. Undergoing renovations. This floor is currently undergoing renovations in our effort to create the most modern, comfortable living space possible for future residents. If you would like to examine the floor prior to leasing or purchasing the residence here, please sign in with our on-site manager. Use code 3444. The Queen's Tower cannot, of course, be held responsible for any accidents incurred during unescorted tours of the work area. And Maggie Chow grants you access. Please use the private penthouse elevator. This one. But if we use this one... I can do this. 
I'm assuming that's... yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll check out this space first. This camera is on. Out of order. Wait, who are you? What are you doing up here? You have 20 credits, mister. What for? I will be honest. It is crash. A big crash. Uh, I just need a little for the pain. Hey, you're this far into withdrawal. Maybe it's time you kicked the habit. How can you? Why so cruel? It's for your own good. You awful man. I hope you die very soon. Damn, that's crazy. But it's like, help them out with their drug addiction? No. Go away. Damn. You awful man. I, you see me with my soy food and my one pillow in the cold hard ground? Mort, I'm going to be off-site tomorrow, so I'm counting on you to head things up. Just FYI, the electrician completed installation of the security system today. Log in Queen's Tower and password security in case you get around to handling the configuration issues. I don't think the doorman's quite figured out how to use it yet, so you might need to do some hand-holding with him. I also set the elevator bypass code inside the shaft to 1709 before I left if you need to do any work down there. Should the contractors return to work on floor 7, give them code 3444. Any other problems come up, you know how to get a hold of me. So... Elevator bypass code inside the shaft to 1709 if you need to do any work. So if we... This is out of order. But if I do... Oh. <laughs> um... It just worked, whatever I, whatever I pressed. It's just one button? Hang on. I got it right, it said granted. What did I press? Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, I pressed one. Damn. Okay. Sad that I was able to bust open those lockers, but not anything else. So if I... Okay, so 1709 doesn't work there. 3444 does. We could always use our one lamb here, uh, and this should effectively placed um, blow up both of these doors. It's oh, Denton. remember the briefing. What the fuck, MJ12? What the fuck? Oh. 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 It's Denton. Oh. Why don't run that way? What the fuck? It's Denton. Remember the briefing. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, that's a plasma rifle! I got one of those two, asshole. Alright, hold on. Dude, this is... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, unexpected MJ-12? What the hell?
don't know what that switch does, but... What the fuck? Well, this junkie decided to run up this way. Whoa, um, am I supposed to? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Um, I was coming here to see Margaret Chow, and we ended up here instead. Can I just shoot this thing? No. I have to continue to blow it up. So, uh, yeah, MJ-12 facility here. Greetings, JC Denton. I have been observing you through this fascinating device in your skull. You have found the proof we needed. The Dragon's Tooth Sword. There, inside the glass case. If you wish to be my ally, you will retrieve the sword and await my instructions. Okay, well... I think I've earned Tracer Tong's trust. She's here somewhere. Oh, um, <laughs> so by the way, guys, um, <laughs> here I am trying to potentially have a conversation with uh, with Margaret Chow, and I've ended up in the MJ12 facility because I was like, I was thinking I was going to just do some extracurricular stuff first. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And here I am now. Jesus. I want to get my next level of lockpicking. Um, I don't think I'm going to use those bullets. And then I don't know what that upgrade's going to be. Let's get into this terminal. MJ-12, when you least expect it. <laughs> I was like, we'll just check out the optional stuff before we go speak to Chow ends up on the main objective. So they could see people who could come up and then there's a camera with no signal. Okay. Uh, well, we'll get that, but we'll just, we'll wait a sec, won't we? Not sure what these switches are doing. Because I'm just going to set off this alarm. Fancy place you got here. Ooh. Cat. Okay. The True Way by Kishiro Yoshitaka. One is to imagine the perfect sword that can cut and swing with no resistance. A sword that is an extension of the mind and heart of the warrior who wields it, and not a dead weight of steel, then it becomes clear that the sword is of little consequence compared to the will of the strategist. Those who would master the way must come to understand this. A sword is a tool whose purpose is to cut. Each day the strategist must practice this until it is not practiced, but a part of their spirit. The strategist knows that every sword they wield is perfect, so their will is perfect, and it is through their will alone that they win battles. A meeting room. Right, we got most, a few things that we can read here. Mr. Hunley, it has become necessary to change my system password since it may become compromised. I will encrypt the new password and fold it to you shortly. Please note that any access attempts made using Typhon should be tagged and traced for interrogation. So I can potentially use MChow and do Typhon, but I'll be tagged and traced. Insurgent by X. When faced with a subversion of an organized ruling body, external action, even when executed in concert as a group, is often ineffectual. True revolution can only come from working within. And in this, the ultimate change that can be brought about by an individual is magnified by the very machinery that such organizations utilize to maintain their own authority. Historically, ruling bodies are always outnumbered by those they rule, but still they manage to maintain a disproportionate amount of power through a combination of tradition, confusion, and punishment. An operative who learns to stimulate the veneer, the simulate the veneer of a loyalist and guard their own secret heart can utilize those very same tools to overthrow such organizations or shift them to a more ideological pleasing axiom. And Taifun by Lin Yao. The history of the triads is in many ways the modern China. 
popular myths hold the popular myth holds that the triads originated as a resistance movement against the Qing dynasty after it descended from Manchuria to seize the capital of Peking by force. When faced with a rebellion in the Fukian province, the Qing dynasty recruited an order of warrior monks who were later deemed expendable by the emperor and all but exterminated. Survivors organized a number of secret monasteries and became known as the Hung Mun, dedicated to overthrowing the, the Qings. The Hung Mun showed a remarkable political adaptability, portraying themselves as protectors of the people, even as they accepted money from Japanese corporate fronts during World War II. Do you reckon that, like, because Tai Fun is the name of this book, that Insurgent is the new password? Hello, Maggie. I swear I will never forget your birthday again. July 18th is marked on my calendar forever. Lewis. Why is that a note? reckon that we can do it here so M Chow and it would be Thai fun but what if we do insurgent it's the name of the book it's the name of the book we got it and that fun <coughs> it's the name of the book so insurgent is her password I don't know about the July 18th thing though Too heavy to lift. Okay, it's a very unique looking cabinet. Okay, and we'll take a look in here. I wonder how Maggie's gonna feel about us uh, after we've already looked around to all of this and set off bombs in the place. Let's make a shower, very good. Okay, well. We'll set off the alarm again. Weird that there's no way to turn off the alarms. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this is just this room again. Oh, oh, you're a maid. Exactly. Don't do that. Don't do that, silly maid with a med kit. Oh, okay. So considering this is the main area and there's the sword and it's a lightsaber because it instantly cauterizes the wound, um, I guess this is how we'll shut it down and how we can learn to get in. Oh, hang on. Is it? It's 3, July 18. The password will be 718. And we've got a message terminal. If the note that's been put in is July 18, that'll be the code. Or it'll be 18-7 if it does the dates the wrong way around. All right, let's go do what we're supposed to do, right? Sure. <laughs> we're going to do what we're supposed to do. Yeah, look, you can get in the shaft here. I'm not going to be able to make this jump. Are you kidding me? All right, hold on. Oh, my God, I made the jump. Got a scramble grenade. Nice. I'll be. Ooh, and I made it back. Okay. So let's just forget that we accidentally ended up in the main objective because who am I to know? Here I am throwing grenades at things, thinking that I'm doing personal, like a uh, uh, not personal, am I thinking um, extra stuff? I'm like yeah, I'll just do some extra shit. <laughs> We'll fuck around before we do the primary objective. Um, funny that. Okay. Now let's speak to Maggie. Oh. It's the same place. Oh shit. It's the same place. Okay. Fuck. Um. Where's Maggie? Okay, um... Right. For the sake of, uh... For the sake of the fact that we... 
We know what we're getting into there. I'm going to, we'll do the, we'll do what we're supposed to do. Then. Okay, we'll be good. I think I, I, I broke the, the sequence of events by doing this one first, because I, I just thought it was going to be extra stuff. This is the curse of me being so curious. So we'll leave that alone. We have some forbidden future knowledge. Let's go this way. Hello? Hi. I'm, I'm here for a meeting. I've never been in this place before. I'm looking for Maggie Chow. You must be Mr. Denton. Miss Chow has been expecting you. She is waiting in the living room. Please follow me. Okay. Mason. I will accompany you. Okay. Walking slowly to the living room. The floor coverings were made by hand in Tibet. Wow, that's amazing. How were the roof tiles made? Okay, there she is. Look. Take a look around. So I wonder how she got. I wonder how she escaped while all this <laughs> shit was going down. Mr. J. C. Denton, in the fresh. As dark and serious as his brother. You know who I am. And Paul? You know my brother? Intimately. Call me Maggie. Paul never mentioned you. That is why he is still alive. He can keep a secret even from his own brother. But why... Paul told you about Majestic 12, correct? The conspiracy behind you, Natko? Just the name. Majestic 12 sent Paul to murder the former Red Arrow leader. And me too. And he double-crossed them? Rest to say, I persuaded him to join our side. What does Majestic 12 want with the Red Arrow? We are winning the Triad War against Majestic 12's ally, the Luminous Path. We were developing a new technology. You might have heard about a sword. The Dragon's Tooth, right? The Triad settled disputes in contests of skill which includes the crafting of weapons. The Dragon's Tooth would have made us unstoppable. So Majestic 12, they're trying to tip the balance, give the Luminous Path a technological advantage. Exactly. I tried to warn the people of the danger, and the Luminous Path calls me a liar. The police have all the evidence they need to settle this, locked up in the station at the Wan Chai Market, but they will not act. Go and see. I know the code to their vault. Eight, seven, three, four, two. It's only fair to tell you that I spoke with Gordon Quick before coming here. I thought he was a friend of my brother's. I agreed to visit you and learn the truth of the situation. Yes, you were seen. The new Red Arrow leader is Max Chen, and you don't have to go to the Lucky Money for him to know your activities. Now tell me about Paul. Why did he not return? Paul's on his way to Hong Kong. I don't know when he will arrive. Then you must think for yourself. In Hong Kong, the truth is seldom kept in plain sight. Okay. Update. From up here, the city is scenery. A mountain that never changes. But everywhere the sands are shifting. We cannot know who to trust. The police, even our own families. I could look around, try to learn something about the Luminous Path. All the necessary evidence is at the police station in Wan Chai Market. If only the police would act. But we went into the police station... And we, oh, I guess they've got a vault that we need to be looking at. So, Majestic Arrow with the Luminous Path, right? Sorry, not Majestic Arrow, Majestic 12 with the Luminous Path. Um, and the Red Arrow watching. But the Majestic 12 stuff is like in this area, like, and the Dragon's Tooth is behind the door. So clearly, we have done things a little bit out of order, and that's my bad, but this is a blind playthrough. I'm just walking around. I'm like, oh shit, I've stumbled into somewhere I'm not supposed to be. You know, I'm just looking around vents, man. I'm going into elevator shafts. How am I supposed to know that's going to go to Majestic 12? You know, they just be popping out of the hole like, like rabbits. That's not what I expect. The luminous um, path are easy prey. All Majestic 12 must do is wave some money under their noses. Okay. We have many prize Buddhas you will observe. Thanks, Maison. We must expose the conspiracy behind the luminous path. Then they will fall apart from the inside. 
Do you understand that they're next door? And are you just pulling the wool over my around. eyes? Yeah, sure. Take a look around. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, this is amazing to see. Okay, she's following me everywhere. I will accompany you. This is funny. Um, so you can see where, like... Okay. It's funny taking a look around. All right, well, I'm going to go look up here. You don't mind if I look up here, do you? Take a look around. Oh, uh, yeah, I will. So now I can look at this stuff. I can read this. I can get these notes. I can understand this. And then you see that. And then she... Get away from there. Oh. But she doesn't like that I'm here. So then I could access this. That'll probably set off some things. Because um, she's accompanying me everywhere. Um, there's a cat. I'll take this. Now, something that Don't I think... Don't make me call the police. All right, I'm going to... Shut you in there. There you go. I don't know. I'm shutting you... I'm shutting you in. Okay. Don't come after me. All right, she doesn't know that I'm here. Okay, she knows that I'm here. You should not be in here. Oh, I want to try and, like... All right, hang on. Um, I've got an idea, May. It's going to be a fun game. So, um... I'm gonna get you. Come, come here. Um, and we're gonna go. We're gonna play. Uh, let's let's sit in the corner. Okay. So you, you come over here. Come on. It's okay. C come into the corner with me. We're gonna play. Come into the corner. And it's not as weird as that sounds. Okay. And just, you have no respect for our privacy. Right, just just get in. Just get in the corner. Oh, you're actually doing as you're told. All right. Keep going. There you go. And you just stay there. Okay. Just stay there. And then. Just gonna, just gonna do this. Okay. Now, um, I'll be right back. I'll come and release you from couch prison in a second. Whoa. Okay. Legs of steel. Gotcha. That was a mistake. Um. Okay. Another fun game that we could play uh, is that doesn't involve um, destroying chairs. Is let me accompany you to the door. No, it's okay. You go back and you go even further into the corner, and we're just we're just gonna play with just the couch. All right, we should be able to make this work with just with just one, just just one of these. Okay, one piece of furniture. All right. Now you stay there. No! Oh my god, she's too strong. She's too powerful. Holy shit! <laughs> Stop! Get away! Get her, no, leave me alone. Fuck, no. I think it is time for you to leave. <laughs> God damn it. Because I feel like... Ooh, I haven't been in here yet. What's this one? When you have time, Mei Sung, I would suggest that you read two of my favorite books, Insurgent and Typhon. I believe you'll both find them, uh, you'll find them both as illuminating as I have. They're in my office if you'd like to borrow them. Oh, she stopped following me. I think I won. I beat her. I don't think she knows that I'm in here. Alright. I, I think I've, uh... Honk. I think I've got her off my tail. Ah! God. Just when I think I've got her off my tail. So she's following me around, except for in this room, for some fucking reason. I'm trying to, like, get into the security thing, and I feel like she'll freak out. Let me accompany you to the door. You know what? I've got an idea. May, why don't you accompany me into this room? Okay. Um, you know what, May? I've decided that... You should not be in I've here. I've decided that we should hang out. I've got a new game, okay? Now, the game that you failed to play with me was, uh, was Couch Game. Where are you going? So, the new game that we're going to play is... Um, is this. Uh, Alright, new game. New game just dropped. It's called You Now Go to Sleep. And now I'm going in here. Okay, M. Chow and Insurgent. And we can see the camera on the seventh floor. And you go, huh. And then you do this, and then you do this, and do that. However, now this is the thing. I would have definitely. Let's just do a hypothetical and say that I didn't discover this stuff before meeting with Chow. I would have discovered it right at this very second. 
instead, you know? And that's the truth because you know that I would fuck around, you know that I'd see a security thing that I'd need to interact with and I would see it and I would go, wait a minute. And then I'd start seeing this and I'd go, hang on a minute, Agent Chow. And then I go, wait a minute. And then we'd start figuring out the, the conspiracy. So you can see the sword, you can see the MJ-12. What the hell's going on here? Okay, there you go. Uh, so I would have discovered it at that point and been very thoroughly confused about what was going on. And there's your answer, okay? And then um, she's gone to sleep now. And I guess we'll uh, we'll even get out of here, and um, we'll, we'll we'll have to do things uh, as intended uh, for the story. Let Bei Sung show you out. Yeah, she'll definitely do that. Um, so at least we haven't messed with, we haven't fucked anything up. We have opened the door, which means we can actually go right in. Um, and for the sake of letting the story play out. Let's let's play dumb, right? Like let's play dumb, and we'll we'll do the thing where we go to the actual police station uh, with the code and do more of the game and do more of the story. Because otherwise, we could dive straight in and just you know break the whole thing. So I I get that the game allows you to do things in so many different ways, right? Like you can achieve multiple outcomes by doing things in particular ways, but I want to ignore it. That one, you know, I'd like to actually experience the level that we we should be doing instead of the one that I can do by cutting a corner, right? Uh, so that means this is also going to be where we bring this episode of Deus Ex to a close, uh, and we will continue our adventure through Hong Kong as we navigate the rest of this story next time. I'm having a great time. I love that we've been taken to a different location, uh, and it feels so very different. And the, the story and everything that's uh, developing here is great. We have more conspiracies. We have uh, the, you know, the Red Arrow and MJ-12 and Luminous Path and who's connected to who? Who knows? I certainly don't know anything about any MJ-12 in these parts, but uh, next time we will continue and see what we can discover. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then.